have. To be a lawmaker in Nigeria, by the way, all you need is secondary school certificate. Yet, your basic salary is 2.5 million naira per month. Furniture allowance is 7.4 million per month. Who changes furniture every month? Eh? Newspaper allowance. Nobody is reading newspaper, oh, by the way. But they still get 1.2 million naira per month to buy newspaper. And then they have wardrobe allowance, 621,000 every month. Recess allowance is 248,000 every month. This is different from leave allowance. What does that even mean? Another 248,000 per month. On top of that, they have accommodation allowance, 4.9 million every month in you is any one of them paying rent sending me rent in yes they are getting 4.9 million for accommodation every month they have utilities allowance 828,000 every month entertainment 828,000 every month and we're also paying for their personal assistant to 621,000 every month and then they get vehicle maintenance allowance 1.8 million by the way they also get 9.9 .9 million every month to buy a new vehicle if they are buying new vehicles every month, should we also be paying another 1.1 million to maintain their vehicle? New vehicle, fa. By the way, they are also getting severance gratuity, 1.8 million. And as if they have not insulted our intelligence enough, these lawmakers are also getting hardship allowance, 1.2 million naira every month. What hardship? What hardship are they facing? Now, despite all that ridiculous amount, all, all that ridiculous allowances, the money that they are giving, which they are supposed to use to develop their consistencies, they are also pocketing, many of them are also pocketing it. This year, by the way, they increased their consistency allowance. The senators increased their own from 200 million naira a year. To some of them are now getting 400 million, some are getting 500 million, they call them senior senators. And many of them are still pocketing this money that is meant for the development of their constituencies. So as if their own personal allowances are not enough. How can you not see that this is evil? Nigerians, by the way, you need to stop praying against those old women in your village because these government officials are the real witches and wizards. Ajaka Ojuba in our law. And we've not talked about all the allowances that the ministers are getting, the governors are getting, the president, the vice president. We just found out that the president, the vice president, and the first lady have spent 8.6 billion, not million, billion naira just on traveling new local and foreign travels between January and March of this year. Alagi Tinubu, is this what you had in mind when you said Emilio Kong? Also, we found out that 30 governors in Nigeria have spent 968 billion, again, not million, billion, on refreshment in the first quarter of this year alone. The people that put them in office are getting paid 30,000 naira a month. And they're okay with that. Oh yeah, okay, just but where is my slippers? Don't beg, don't beg me, darling. call it the wall because some of these officials they need to ah, oh yeah, can't just need to be caned. By the way, labor union was asking for four hundred and ninety-four thousand as the new minimum wage per month. Tinubu said that they cannot afford it; that is too much. So now they are hoping that the president would approve at least one hundred thousand naira. Let us keep our fingers crossed. In the meantime, they have suspended the strike for five days until they reach an agreement with the government. My people, I don't think that Nigeria will.